Welcome to Fire Engineering's Trading Minutes. I'm Captain John Sorella of the FDNY. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new device for the American Fire Service known as a smoke curtain. This smoke curtain is not to be confused with a KO curtain, which is a device used on the exterior of buildings in wind impacted fires to block the wind. This device is going to be used on the interior of a building to try to control the smoke, control the flow path. In this particular structure that we're in now, we have an enclosed interior stairwell, very similar to a residential high-rise building. In this scenario, we're going to give you actually two scenarios, but in this scenario one, we're going to be getting to the fire floor and we're going to check the interior hallway of that high-rise multiple dwelling. If we have a high heat and smoke condition in that hallway, we're going to implement this tool right at that doorway. And what the object of this tool is to be is we're trying to contain the smoke on the fire floor. Remember, this stairwell can be used by civilians as they're trying to exit the building. We don't want to contaminate it with smoke. It's also going to allow our members that have to make access to the floor above, like in the FDNY's world, the roof man getting to the floor above to get that layout. It's going to make it a safer environment for them. So now let's have a firefighter come up, implement this tool, and we'll see what it looks like. Firefighter will come up to the fire floor, and the first thing he's going to do is check for heat and smoke in the hallway. It's confirmed. He's got a high heat and smoke in the hallway, which probably means the apartment door is open. We want to limit the amount of smoke coming from the hallway into the attack stairwell. This is one device that we can use, the smoke curtain, to prevent that from happening. Once he has the tool ready to go, he chocks the door open quickly and then puts the tool in place. The tool goes in the upper portions of the doorway. It expands. He quickly hits the adjusting rod to tighten it in the doorway. And now you have a flow path controlled Heat and smoke will not enter the stairwell. It makes it safer for firefighters operating, for the engine company coming up, civilians coming down that stairwell out of the building. In scenario number one, we had the firefighter get to the fire floor, he checks for heat and smoke, and he did have it in the hallway, so that's where the tool went up. Scenario number two, when he gets to the fire floor, there's no heat and smoke in the hallway. So now he has to determine what is the fire apartment, and that's where the tool is going to go up. That way, maintaining the hallway clear of heat and smoke. So, understand, when we put that tool up in the apartment doorway, the door swings inward. We can place the tool in place, either force the door first, or put the tool in place and then force the door, but the whole time he's going to maintain the flow path control of no heat and smoke going into either the stairwell or the hallway, depending on what type of building we're in. So we've determined which apartment is the fire apartment. The firefighter approaches the door, checks again for heat, and now either forces the door first and then puts the tool in play or puts the tool in play and then forces the door, his choice. He will then put that tool in place, maintaining heat and smoke out of the stairwell or the hallway, depending on what type of building we're in. Very quickly goes in place. And there we have our flow path control. So there's a lot of challenges on the fire ground, smoke control being one of them. This is a new tool that can be implemented in a lot of different scenarios. The bottom line is we got to think about keeping the genie in the bottle till we're ready to attack the fire. If we have known life hazards or suspected life hazards, either way, flow path control we know is critical. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.